This is Lesson 2 of the Oracle Primavera Cloud video tutorial series by CDP Inc. I'm Matthew Donnelly and our topic today is creating a project in OPC. Let's get started. Inside of our home landing page of OPC, we're going to head up to our drop-down item selector at the top. And here we can go in to view our project list and we can navigate to the workspace that we want to create the project in. For my specific workspace, I'll be using my training environment. Once you've navigated to your workspace on the left hand side, we can come in and hit the add drop down to create a new project. You also have the ability to create proposals and templates. By creating a project, we'll need to go through and add in our project details. From there, we can specify our user group and access, permission sets, and companies. So I'll go ahead and fill this out and come back in just a second. After filling out your project details, my Shiloh Creek Apartments has a unique ID and a description, as well as maintaining that training environment workspace, I can mark it as planned my project plan start and I can even change my default calendar all of which we can change in the future as well advancing to the next slide we've got user group and access and if you've got permissions to do this you can bring in additional users and additional user groups that will be able to edit manage and view this project after bringing in those users and groups you'll have a last chance to change their permissions from their default. You can see since this has brought me in by default, I'm unable to change these, but a second user or a second user group, I'll be able to modify those. Lastly, your companies. This is going to enable you to bring in those subcontractors or maybe other companies that you're working with on your project that you may want to give responsibilities to in the future for task lean management planning or if you want to give their users access to view their specific activities and work packages. Finally on the summaries we can analyze everything that we've put in make sure that it all looks good and we can choose to add the project. After creating our project it will automatically take you to your project home screen where we're going to be able to see a couple of different widgets for our project summary on start and finish dates. If we put a location in, it would show up on this map and our project team. The first thing you need to do after creating your project is head into your summary and settings. Inside of your summary and settings, there's going to be a details page, which will allow you to put in that location we just mentioned, put in your current planned start, as well as your data date. Some other options include changing your project default calendar and putting in a contractually obligated schedule must finish by date. Advancing to the next tab will bring us to settings which includes our activity defaults when we create new activities what will be inherent to those activities as well as some task settings if you utilize different companies for your task lean management system, we can delineate which color goes with which company. We've got calculations, and this will allow you to change different calculation settings for your project, one of the major ones being your critical activity definition. We can set that to longest path as best practice would dictate. You'll notice that as you make changes in your settings, you should be able to save them by clicking the save at the top right of your screen. Some other options include auto numbering. If you want to change your activity default prefix, suffix or starting number, and what the increment would be, we could change this to SCA-1000 incrementing every 10, and it'll give you a preview there as well. One of the major things you need to think about when creating your project is your schedule health check. This is an internal project health that OPC offers and we can change whether or not we have certain one of these health check parameters active. 
we can change our targets and the weight that they will give us once reviewing our schedule health score. Finally, after setting up your project settings, we can come into our project dictionaries. And these will be the building blocks of custom data inside of our project like calendars. We can set up activity specific calendars as well as overarching project level calendars. We've also got the ability to create specific holiday calendars. Next, we've got our codes register. And this is where we can create activity and task codes to assign into our project in order to filter, group, and sort our data in unique ways. Risk matrix is going to help us once we do risk analyses and we can set up matrices for those risk profiles. So now that we've created our project and looked at our details, settings, and dictionaries, the next step in our process will be going into our schedule module. We can create our work breakdown structure and then activities in the next lesson. As always, thanks for watching. You can find our website and further videos at www.cdp-inc.com. We'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to our email or phone number and connect with CDP Inc. on LinkedIn. See you in the next video.